Today on ComTech Engineer, I will show you how to segment your home network using a cheap $10 thrift store router. Now this is assuming you already have an existing router from your internet service provider or have purchased one yourself. So step one is to back up the existing configuration of your home router. To do this, you will need to log into the router from a device and save the configuration file. The next step is to find yourself a cheap router. I bought this one used from a thrift store for about $10. It's a good idea before you start to factory reset this router. That way, it will clear any existing usernames, passwords, or configurations from the previous owner. Next, you will power on the router, and you will need an Ethernet cable for this. You are going to plug the WAN port on the thrift store router into a regular switch port of your existing router. When you do this, a few things should happen. I've tested this with a few routers and I'm pretty confident that most routers do this, but what should happen behind the scenes is that the thrift store router will realize that its WAN IP address is 192.168.1. something and change its LAN IP scheme to a private IP address, which is usually a 10.0.0.0 network address and a subnet of 255.255.255.0 or in CIDR notation a slash 24 network. Like I said I've tried this multiple times and as long as you factory reset the thrift store router it should default to this setting and it should automatically switch the LAN or downstream IP address scheme to a 10.0.0.1 slash 24 network. Of course, if you know what you are doing, you can always log into both routers and change and optimize your subnets to your heart's content, but that is beyond the scope of this video. And that is basically it. What you have now is two segregated networks. You will want to connect your untrusted devices to your existing upstream router and your secure devices to the new thrift store router. And since almost all routers now come with Wi-Fi built in, you not only have an internal wired secure router, you also have an internal Wi-Fi connection. So you can connect your private secure devices to your internal Wi-Fi network, like laptops, phones, iPads, and connect your untrusted devices like IoT or Internet of Things devices to your unsecure Wi-Fi. But a word of warning on this, I have found that some IoT devices do not like to be on a separate network from the device you are controlling them from. Meaning that if your ring doorbell, for example, is on your unsecure network, sometimes you need to connect your phone also to the unsecure network to get it to work properly. I'm not sure why, but if you are having issues after implementing this network change, give that a try and see if it fixes the problem. Finally, make sure you change the default password on your new thrift store router. When we factory reset this, it changed the password to something stupid and easy to guess, like username admin and password is password. So that should be about it. You have now segmented your home network and made it significantly more secure. Thanks for watching.